there everyone and welcome to Ultimate General Gettysburg. I do a, long, a lot of long series and I thought I could uh, do quite short ones on this um, because of how the campaign is set up. So let's go ahead and uh, start a new battle. We're gonna start off as the Confederates. Um, and I'm gonna do it balanced because I haven't played it a lot. So I wanna make sure that I'm able actually to uh, uh, <laughs> beat this um, and that it's not actually too hard. I have played it a bit before, but I have have had or I define found it rather difficult, I should say. So let's go ahead and uh, play this so it's the 1st of July 1863 at Gettysburg and you can see here outlined how many troops the Union start off with, how many I start off with, so I start off with about twice the amount of men and then we get equal reinforcement although the Union is going to get more cannons in the reinforcement and going to start off with more cannons um, General Lee gave the order to avoid any engagement until the, U until the Army of Northern Virginia arrives. The latest reports indicate that only a local militia defends the town of De Gettysburg. There is an opportunity here, General. Your mission is to capture all the western ridges. You have two infantry brigades, one artillery battalion and some skirmishers at your disposal. At your disposal. Two more brigades will join you along with another artillery battalion. Serious resistance is not expected, but act with caution and hold uh, her ridge at all cost. If you manage to capture other points but lose her ridge, the effort will be all be in vain. Good luck, General. So her ridge is her ridge. Is it, does it mean Oak Ridge or or does it mean sort of this ridge, the Macpherson Ridge or her? Is this her? Ah, oh, this is her. So if I lose this, everything will be... That, that doesn't seem very likely at this point. Anyways, we've got this, these ridges to take, these three r ones. Lutheran Cemetery, Oak Ridge, and what do we have up here? Oak Hill. So we're gonna take those. Oak Hill, since the Union force is gonna come from down Gettysburg, uh, these are the two most important ones. And you can see they're numbered accordingly with um, um, how much of a value they pose. Um, as you can see, if if I was able to take this, um, Gettysburg uh, could easily come under fire from artillery, so they would have to pull back. And yeah, let's start by setting up our troops. So we've got some s a lot of skirmishers here that we want to push away. So we can push up to McPherson's Ridge, um, preferably before a lot of the major Union troops arrive. Heath skirmishers, I have sometimes moved them up here to claim this, but I'm thinking maybe I could move them down here, give some sort of fire down towards uh, the reinforcements that are going to come up there. Uh, artillery. The point in the beginning is not that, that well to move these guys because these guys are going to fall back pretty soon and we're not going to be able to fire across the ridge. So we just want to move them up to ha sort of keep have them moving rather than anything else. And the core moves up. Right, let's start this. 
see if this works. Sometimes it goes really badly for me, and uh, I probably have to like double check more than I usually do. Like I have to pause in rethink the situation, and um, you have to think ahead quite a lot since the troops move slowly and sometimes. Uh, um, well, you have to you have to sort of play it cautious, but at the same time, in this case, we need to form a line, so we move up in line. Because if we move up in column and these guys start firing at us, it's not going to be a pretty sight. What I can actually do is I can have the skirmishers go in here, push these guys off, so I can set up the artillery on the hill and keep um, keep the pressure on them and push them off. They're taking some casualties, but they're also inflicting casualties on the enemy. I could charge them away, but I don't want to waste uh, waste stamina points, sort of, on these guys. Archer is still in the woods, so that gives him a lot of good cover. Actually, I think I want to fire on the enemy artillery. If we can break those off, that's going to be a B to a great. All right, they're moving back. Now we need to move. Keep the pressure on them. The enemy reinforcement has not arrived yet, so we still got time to keep pushing on. Soon the uh, more Union uh, reinforcements going to turn up, and then it's going to be hard to dislodge them from the ridges, especially this one, since they're going to station a lot of artillery there, as I recall. Let's see if we can get these guys to push up now up here can continue with these so we'll continue up not really have time yet to uh, move up these cannons just yet but we will in time do that as well Gamble skirmishers are falling back of their heavy losses. Right, there is the enemy. Cutlers and Iron Brigade have turned up. We don't want to engage those. But it's good that we're actually. Oh, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. That we actually stopped the Iron Brigade. So the Iron Brigade is holding this position and only Cutler is moving up which is going to work in our favor but still I'm not able to uh, they're still holding too much here for me to actually right now they're actually breaking get those cannons up there Get your guns in order and start bombarding the Iron Brigade. I don't want the Iron Brigade coming down and destroying my artillery. Archer, get a move on. David, we want you up there. I want Archer's Brigade to move as quickly as possible to intercept the Iron Brigade and start firing on them, so forcing them to concentrate on archers rather than on my cannons 
There we go. Heath skirmishers can now go and claim that hill. Crap, they're charging. Get your artillery out of there. David, move up. Come on, get that artillery out of there. Send that iron brigade to hell. God damn it. How many bloody cannons did we lose? Well, we still have 15 cannons. The enemy only has two left. So it's still something. I should have moved them earlier, maybe. Archer is in trouble here since it's being fired upon from multiple locations. But we have pulled up the artillery here. Which should be able to put down quite good artillery fire on the enemy. This one is not really doing that much or that well from that location. So let's move that one over there. And let's get you up there as well. Right, we got more troops coming in. That's good, that's good. Cutler's moving back. Davis, maybe you can march up then. Sir, the rest of our divisional forces are here. Nice. Who is this? Scales. You will march there. Who is this? M. Perrin. You will march right there. You will march right there. Archer is having a tev is coming under a lot of fire, but they've also killed a lot of enemies. Let's send those bastards off. Get up there. And claim that. Right, we have another here. Brockenbra. Uh, actually, Brockenbra and Lane, you will go down there to meet the Iron Brigade. Then we got Pettigrew up in the center with Perrin and Scales up through there. Right, if these had come sooner, I could. Uh, there's a there's a great possibility of pushing towards here right now. Ah, oh, we got troops coming in. You need to wheel and move that way. Skirmishers, you will hold this. Hold that location. Do we have any more artillery coming up? The Union's brought up more artillery, so now they are outnumbering us in artillery. Hold! Why haven't we taken that yet? Heron, we need you up there. Pettigrew, we need you. Scales. And then Lane. And then we can get on with pushing the Iron Brigade off. The thing though is we're probably not going to move across there focus going to be, I think I'm going to put the focus here, trying to push down through that way. The enemy's got a lot of guns now. And that's going to be very dangerous for us. He's got a good position here on the hill, there's a lot of cover. So I think he can hold it well unless we've got some sort of charge going in. Uh, what is this? Macintosh Artillery Battalion has arrived. And should deploy. Very good. It looks like the Union Army is closing to attack us. 
do blaze division spotted approaching from the south. So we got more Union troops coming in and we got more of our artillery coming in. Nice, now we're equal in cannon. Once the cannon actually arrive. We've got a lot of the enemy artillery here. They're holding steady though. They've shot 600, lost 300, so that's good. Right, here comes the artillery. Hmm. It's three. We need artillery up here. Skirmishers, push those bastards away. The thing is, we got a lot of Union cam cannons right here. So I'm hesitant to move, both move across, but also to move up my cannons to sort of we can move, actually move up our cannons and start firing on their cannons. Perrin should take position there. If I can get maybe Perigru to come in the flank actually. And Davis is going to come under a whole lot of fire because now we've got the Bucktail Brigade, Paul's Brigade and Baxter. And we got Biddle there. And then they put Cutler in reserve. We have no reserve for David. As of now. So the scales coming in to flank these guys. Right, push these guys off. Push away the Iron Brigade. Perrin, I want you to move up so you can actually start firing on the Bucktail Brigade. Heath, skirmishers. Maybe you can keep chasing that cavalry. Once we're actually able to get these guys going, we've got two artillery pieces going to be stationed here. Hopefully, be able to fire through like that. Heath skirmishers continue to charge those guys. Pettigrew and Scales ready to come in to flank the enemy. The Iron Brigade has been pushed back. But it's always dangerous going up against the cannons, especially when we marched a long way. And uh, and they don't have the power really to charge. I guess uh, the cover is increased once I give the hold. Maybe. Or you can see the shield turning up there, which helps a bit. So if we tell them to hold there. Pettigrew, I want you to form line and start firing on Baxter. Scales, engage Cutler. And Heath skirmishers continue harassing those vignettes. Or maybe it's the other way around. Keep putting down fire, right? We do not want you to hold anymore. You guys 
You should see about marching across. Pedigrew, what the f hell are you doing? Turn on the enemy! March! Heat the skirmishers have had enough and I'm moving away. Hold! See if these guys actually start firing on Baxter. Ooh, Baxter is getting flank fire and he's killing loads. And then we got Pettigrew coming in with his big unit there of 2,500 men. Cutler is seeing the problem and is moving up to aid. Archer is moving up against Biddle. That's going to be nasty. Backenbra is moving on Cooper's artillery. Lane is moving on Stewart's artillery. And I give the charge. Run! Get in there! Archer's not gonna hold for long. Fall back, Archer, fall back! Stuart's artillery is broken. And we just reached Cooper's artillery. Hopefully, we're gonna break those guys as well. And we're pushing them back, and the back of the hill is revealed. Turn up, and I want you to hold and hold. Now the artillery needs to move. There's no point in having them over here, so we want to move them to face Biddle. Pettigrew move up, Scales is moving back. These guys are not actually able to fire from this position, damn it. They've been useless for quite a while. Let's move them up on the hill, or maybe there. Backenbra is holding. Is those skirmishers charging us? Heron is moving back. But Pettigrew is moving into cover by putting pressure here. I want you moving up. Back in bruh. I want you to chase those bastards off. In lane, I want you to move up. We got Baxter moving in to cover the fact that they're split in two. Pedigree has moved up, this case has moved up. David, if you can move up a bit so we can get our artillery into position there, that would be nice. Scales, your boys. Archer, if you can march up and stop fiddle for a bit. Backembra, we need you in lane to turn. To face the enemy up there. Hold, David, hold, 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 David, hold. David is about to break. Do not like that. Tiller is not being that useful from the position right now. We can move them a bit forward. Get better position shooting on the enemy. It would be very nice if I could capture this before the end of the round. That would be a devastating victory for us. But that means we gotta dislodge Baxter and Biddle. And right now the time is running out. Nice, we started getting some fire going here from Rice Artillery.
going down on the bucktails. <sighs> Scales though. Can you come and shoot a bit? Paul is falling back! Love it. But at the same time, our guys are falling back. Which we do not like. Heady grew, start marching. Heron is coming in. slowly going more and more in our favor. It's not really enough. And now Steven's artillery is open up on us. Why aren't you guys fired? Hold lane, you want you to face the bloody enemy. Come on, Bucktails, break! Backtakes are breaking. Move up. Get on to Biddles. Push on to Cutler. Baxter. Get Baxter. Get Biddle. Damn it, Pettigrew is breaking up. Fucking hell. Cutler's moving. Nice. And we like the Biddle is falling back as well. <gasps> Maybe I can come up and take that. Then. Oh, Paul is coming up. You better be ready when he comes in. Oh, they're falling back. They're falling back. They're giving up their position. Claim that hill now. God damn it. I see it going pale blue. Turning gray. Pedigrew, I want you into the fight. Thing though is the artillery cannot fire through an aid now. Unless they get up. Get up! And to your post. And let no man forget today that you are from Old Virginia. I don't know if this is. It's the army of Northern Virginia, so I guess they're Old Virginians, more or less. In some sense, maybe. Yes! We claimed it! I have all three points. We're moving up the artillery. We got the Union on the run. But now we need to hold this. <sighs> I don't think I've ever done this well before. 
this early at least. I, I know I managed to once get a similar thing going when I took three positions. But not like this. Where are you going, Lane? Didn't I tell you to hold here? Oh, the battle's gonna end soon, but... I've got all the points, and I pushed you in. And now you're stationed in between here and the town. And... Boom! Ooh! Epic victory! Epic victory! The enemy lost uh, more than a thousand men more. And I claimed every single point. Epic victory. Epic victory is epic victory. Oh, we need to continue on this. It's gonna be hard to live up to this. Uh, continuously going through the campaign, but... <clears throat> looking at here... Uh, the Iron Brigade was really cut to sh is shredded. Same with Stewart's battery and Cleef's battery, Cooper's battery as well. Uh, ha Hall's battery, Gamble's detached skirmishers. The only one that went red for me is the Kershaw's battery, which is nice. The w none were destroyed in the same manner. Perrin's brigade, though, they lost 800 men, but they only killed 277. Same with archers, they lost a lot more than they killed. Compared with, say, Paul's brigade, they killed a lot. But uh, this is, I guess, to be expected since the enemy was in a defensive position. David's did a lot of good work there. 700 losses to 1,000 kills. I guess... Uh, I did pretty well, since they called it an epic victory. Right. So now, the enemy will get 2,000 men in reinforcement. They will start by outnumbering us in men slightly by 5,000 men. But then we will get a hell of a reinforcement. So it's just laying the preparational work, I guess, for this. But why am I saying this now? Um, I think I'm gonna end it here, and then we're gonna do this one for the next video. So, hopefully you enjoy this, and hopefully you'll come back and watch me capture uh, Seminary Ridge. So, I hope you enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Bye!